Hello there everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Mortal Kombat 2. So now we're going to go through with Melina. So serving as an assassin along with her, her twin sister Katana, Melina's dazzling appearance conceals her hideous intentions. At Shao Kahn's request, she is asked to watch for her sister's suspected decision. She must put a stop to that at any cost. Okay, that's interesting. And looks like we're going to be starting off with Baraka. Alright, bring it on Baraka. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's what I meant to do. So, Melina is definitely a fun character to use if you know how to use her. Me, I somewhat do, but here's the problem. Some of her moves, at least in this version, or Maze, Maze the Emulator, I don't know. This particular version, I find her moves kind of hard to pull off sometimes, so... It can make getting through the game with her a little bit challenging, but uh, you can do cool stuff like that, for example, and uh, there's even a nice little combo you can do with that. Uh, if you do Jump Kick, that rolling attack, Jump Kick... Side throw, you can do some pretty good damage. So, Melina's definitely got a lot of good damage potential. I'm just not very good with her, unfortunately. And, uh, have a flower. Have a have a harmless flower in this barren wasteland, Baraka. Isn't it beautiful? Isn't it beautiful like Melina and Katana? Yeah, I, I'm sure Melina's not hiding anything under that mask. Nope. I, I'm sure that's not the reason why she keeps her mask on or a baby Audi. Mm -mm, nope. Darn it, missed it. I have seen good players like, you know, do that roll attack, or jump kick, roll attack, jump kick, side throw. Uh, best I can do is jump kick, uh, the roll attack, and then the side throw. Sometimes I hit it, sometimes I don't, like you saw there, so, yeah. But it is a good attack, don't get me wrong. It has a lot of combo potential, so if you know, if you know what you're doing with Melina, she can definitely be one of the best in the game, in my opinion. But again, like Katana, her roundhouse is kind of a short range, so that, that kind of sucks. There's a baby Audi for you. Cool. wonder what that monk in the background is saying. He's just like, ah, oh, crap. Not another baby Audi. I got enough baby Audis to deal with. Ugh, they don't pay me enough to do this. Yeah, now we got my boy Jax. Well, one of my, one of my boys. Because uh, I like a lot of Mortal Kombat characters, what can I say? A lot, a lot of the Mortal Kombat cast is pretty cool, if I say so myself. Yeah, Mortal Kombat's got some of the coolest video game characters ever. Jax being one of them. And hey, I like Melina too, so... But she's not a boy, she's a, she's a woman, so... Yeah. Anyways, on to round two, and I don't know why I just need them. That's not what I meant to do, but whatever. Whatever, I'm not gonna complain. All right, and it's fatality time. All right, so here we go. What the? What the fuck? What the shit? What just happened? She she like kisses him, and then all of a sudden he gets sucked into her, and then she spits out his bones. What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay, so a quick fun fact for you guys. That is actually the second fatality I ever saw. I mentioned before in Reptile's playthrough, his fa head chomp fatality was the first fatality I ever saw, not counting the Deadpool and whatnot. So, yeah, that was the first one I saw. That was the second one I ever saw, and that was a one that also freaked me out. Like, holy shit, what the fuck is going on? Why are people eating each other? And you saw her face there, right? When she spin out the bones, it looked kind of... Kind of weird. Looked almost familiar in a way. What the fuck is she hiding? What are you hiding, Melina? I mean, that, that was already creepy enough, but you're hiding something, definitely. That just proves it. And here's her fatality. Pretty lame, if you ask me. Just stabs them a bunch of time, and they gravitate in the air. Like, what the fuck? But I'm pretty sure that's not even physically possible, for one. And two, it's just it's kind of generic, if you ask me. I don't really like it. Don't really like that fatality, personally, but whatever. Whatever. It was 1993. Yeah, 1993, so. I, I get it. You know, technology wasn't there quite yet. They probably couldn't have done anything too spectacular. But, uh, spoiler alert, there's still some spectacular fatalities we haven't even seen yet that involve Shang Tsung and Liu Kang. So, yeah. But, uh... Whatever the case, uh... Her first fatality was kind of cool, I guess, you know, suck people in and spell their bones. That's kind of cool. And maybe I'm a little, maybe I'm a little nostalgia blind with that one. I know a lot of people say they don't like it, but I like it personally. 
I will say this, though. Some of our later fatalities would be a lot better in the later games, but, uh, you know, they had to start somewhere, obviously. And so, sorry, Katana, I didn't want to kill you, babe, but I had to. All right, now we're on to Liu Kang. Bring it on, champ. You ain't win the tournament again, I can tell you that much. Definitely not foreshadowing anything by saying that. Nope, that is not the case at all. Oh, you ruined my flaws, you son of a bitch. Bastard. Yeah, right. Moving on. You gonna do the bicycle? Nope, no bicycle kick. Yeah, right. I almost wonder if the flying kick she does can uh, counter the the bicycle kick. I should try that sometime. Yeah, right. Let's, let's go now. Have another meal, shall we? Yeah, seriously, your teeth look really fucked up when your head is turned like that. What are you hiding? Kind of, kind of reminds me of uh, someone else in this game. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, guys. I don't know. I, I've been hitting at it for a while. I've been saying, you know, Lenny is hiding something under that mask, but I wasn't expecting her to be a cannibal, that's for sure. Unless maybe she's not a proper human or a Denian, as we'd find out with Katana later on in the series. I don't know. I don't know. Well, maybe we'll find out in her ending. But, uh, anyways, here we go with Sub Zero. The uh, younger brother version, not the older brother version. It's a shame uh, the older Sub-Zero isn't in this game, you know, that, that's kind of a shame. Alright, but, uh, I think that'd be an interesting rivalry, Sub-Zero versus Sub-Zero, but unfortunately, he's not in this game, he's dead, he's never coming back in this series, definitely, definitely not going to be coming back as, like, a secret fighter or anything like that, nope. Mm -mm. Anyways, here we go with the mirror match. Bring it on. And I'm not sure how I feel about that second player costume for uh, Melina. In my opinion, it's not, you know, different enough a color. Like with Reptile, for example, they've really brightened up that green on them, so it's pretty easy to tell them apart. But with that one, I feel like they need to brighten up just a tiny bit more. It is different enough for me, but I feel like with some people that, you know, may have trouble distinguishing colors that are colorblind, for example, they might have a little trouble with that. So, yeah. Just my opinion, at least. And also... Oh, for hold on just a second. Bam! In the Deadpool with you, bitch. Anyways, as I was going to say, I can't help but feel like maybe they should have given her the Katana tree, but, you know, where Katana wears, you know, silver when she's player two, so why not have Melina wear, I don't know, uh, hmm, red or something like that? That'd, that'd be interesting. Anyways, whatever the case, now we got Mr. Hollywood, Johnny Cage, last last week's champion, but uh, this week he's going to be my bitch. Yep. I also got to mention it real quick, uh, Johnny Cage and Melina have some of the best interactions in uh, Mortal Kombat 10. The failed actor. I'm going to grab my wars and shove them up in your head. Touchy, aren't we? <laughs> Disgusting human. Sleeping with Baraka is disgusting. Who told you this? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Finally got that to work. Been trying to get that work for a while now. So yeah, that's something that you can do on the uh, spike pit fatality there. If you hit down on uh, both player one and player two controllers, or in my case, just player one, uh, you can get the body to fall down. It's pretty cool if I say so myself. So yeah, I like that. I like that. Um, for whatever reason, though, it, you, it's in the arcade version only works if you push down on both players' joysticks. With the Super Nintendo version here, I find it works sometimes when you just sit down the player one D-pad because I don't have a second controller plugged in. That's why I, I figured it wasn't working. I was just going to demonstrate that later, but then all of a sudden, it did work. So, yeah, I, I don't know what that's all about, but. Uh, Whatever the case, now we're up to Kung Lao, who is uh, fighting like a chump right now. I, did I really just get double falls on him? I am amazed. I'm a, I'm legitimately amazed. Like, let that show you just how good Molina can be. You guys have seen me struggling with Kung Lao before, but, uh, yeah. If you know what you're doing with Molina, she can be pretty good, even, the, even this high up in the tower, so, yeah. And I guess by uh, saying uh, one of uh, 
My interactions earlier, I accidentally gave a spoiler, didn't I? My bad, guys. My bad. That, that one's just so funny, though. I had to. I had to say. I. I. I'm sorry. I had to do it. All right. I just had to do it. Yeah, right, but. Anyways, now we got Scorpion in the house, Mr. Mortal Kombat himself, and uh, definitely proved to be a popular uh, video in this series because uh, literally his views just went up like crazy compared to the others. I, I wasn't surprised at all though because he is the most popular character in Mortal Kombat, quote unquote. Some people will debate and say Sub Zero, but no, nah, I'm pretty sure it's Scorpion that's mo more popular of the two. I like Sub Zero better myself, don't get me wrong, but uh, I won't deny Scorpion his fame. Yeah, right. And, and I, I do like Scorpion, just to clarify. Scorpion's definitely one of my favorites in the game. In the entire series, I should say. Yeah, right. Moving on. Bring it on, Shang Tsung. You're going down, Sorcerer. Oh, that was a nice combo. Unintentional combo, I might add. Just kinda, kinda did it, went on mob pile there and it worked, so that was awesome. Alright, come on. Bastard. Oh, you motherfucker. Holy shit! Uh oh. Oh, no. Ah, oh, he handed me my ass that round. That's not good. That's not good. Oh boy. Alright. Oh, yes. Thank you. Chose me. That's just what I need. All right, come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on, do the side throw trick. Why aren't you doing the... Oh, he didn't do the side throw trick. God damn it. That really fucking sucks when he doesn't do that. Oh, shit. No. Ugh. Oh, shit. Ugh. Oh. Whew, that was close. Can't tell you how nervous I was when that was happening. Oh, man, that was close. What the? One day we will fight? Who the fuck was that? That that looked a lot like the green ninja woman we've been seeing peek out from the trees in the living forest, doesn't she? Huh. Interesting. But what does she mean by one day we'll fight? But what day will that be? Will it be a day when I'm not busy, hopefully? I hope so. And I'm amazed I got him, honestly. I'm truly shocked. You deserve this, motherfucker. Not the kiss, but the fatality, bitch. Fuck you, Shang Tsung, seriously. Hashtag Shang Tsung sucks. Just like Killer RK Games says. Alright, on to Kentaro. Bring it on, Kentaro. Oh, you mother- Motherfucker! Look at that, half my health's gone already. This son of a bitch. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh, thank you. Just barely survived that. And able to finish him off. Whew. That was way too close for comfort. Alright. Bring it on, Kentaro. No, not again. Okay. That's where I hit me with a fireball first, and then, you know, then that's how I got trapped by that. Okay, okay. Alright, I think we're good. No, he landed in the wrong spot! Oh, but I still got him. Oof. Alright. Awesome. Alright, hey, Kentaro, you are my bitch once again. On to Father Shao Kahn. You will die, mortal. That's no way to talk to your kid, Shao Kahn. What the fuck, man? Yeah, right. Yeah, just going with the uppercut strategy as usual. I just find this works best for me, personally. But I did show you guys that other way you can beat Shao Kahn, so... There are other ways you can beat Shao Kahn, too, but, uh... You know. You will die, mortal. This is just my preferred way of doing it, so... Yeah, it's the way I've been doing it since I was young, so... Oh, you motherfucker. I will uppercut your face, bitch. Or I should say his chin, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. And that's that. Yeah, right. Yeah, you have through all the stages again, you motherfucker. Yeah, right. 
I'm quite curious to see what uh, Melina's ending is, because uh, she's definitely a freaking weird character. Seriously. The fuck is going on with her? Shao Kahn's rule is over. Once again, you are the Supreme Mortal Kombat Warrior. Fantastic. Now let's see that ending. Let's see here. Once thought to be Katana's twin sister, Melina is actually a grotesque clone created by Shang Tsung. With Shao Kahn suspicious of Katana's motives, Melina seizes the opportunity to attack Khan and his minions. Oh, oh okay, so she's not they're not actual sisters. What the fuck? Caught off guard, they are no match for Melina's speech. She wins the tournament, and together with her secret companion, Braca, they rule the world as king and queen. See, I obviously accidentally spoiled that earlier with uh, my quote earlier from Mortal Kombat 10, but fuck it. It's a great quote, alright? Sleeping with Brock is repulsive. Who told you this? <laughs> seriously, if you haven't watched any of the Mortal Kombat 10 interactions, look them up. They are hilarious, seriously. But anyways, folks, that's Melina. So... Uh, her ending isn't canon, so you don't have to worry about that or anything like that, but uh, it does reveal that quite an interesting secret. She's not actually sister with Katana, she's an experiment created by Shang Tsung, so that's interesting. Why he made a clone of Katana and bred her with uh, Braca's tar Tarkatan DNA or some random Tarkatan's DNA, I don't know. But that's why she wears the mask, because she, do she don't want to, you know, show her ugly face, unfortunately. Sorry, Melina, I just gotta say it like it is. Your teeth are very disgusting. But anyways, folks, that's gonna do it for me, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Later.